We now have Neil to speak to us about the homelessness situation and what Occupy and Ten City Tacoma are doing positively to address this. Good afternoon. Okay, that was kind of weak. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. There we go. Now I'm now I'm actually yeah I'm actually hearing some enthusiasm here. Um, first of all, a lot of people uh, a lot of people tend to think that the homeless problem is not really a problem. I'm here to tell you, that's a load of garbage. The homeless problem is really a, is really serious. It's something that needs to be addressed. Occupy Tacoma has been uh, has been a ardent supporter of uh, of the setting up of a tent city here in Tacoma, fashioned after those uh, those found in Seattle. Uh, I've written you know, I personally have written the pricey of how uh, of how the tent city was uh, is to be organized, and uh, in conjunction with several other members of Occupy Tacoma, we are now working on getting in contact with churches to get support for this so that we can actually have them hosted. Uh, the, uh, there are several uh, legal rulings, legal precedents that have been uh, that have come down from the Supreme Court as well as from uh, the state of Washington that support the, tent, uh, that support the church's right to host the tent city as part of their ministries. Therefore, the city of Tacoma cannot pressure a church into refusing to, uh, to host a tent city. I want everybody here to remember this. I want everybody here to, uh, to go to their churches, to go to their neighborhoods, and tell these people, we have to have this in place as a means for, service, uh, for services to be able to reach those who need them. The biggest and most important service that is necessary, especially in this city, is homes. We need to be able to put these people that do not have an income, do not have a means of acquiring it, do not have a means of, uh, of uh, being able to stay dry and warm, we need to be able to get these people indoors and make sure that all of them have the human right of having a home. This is one of the, uh, this is one of the reasons why we are pushing to have this tent city is so that these services can reach these people. The other, uh, the other major problem that we have uh, that we have at this point is the availability of work, the availability of jobs. If we had jobs, we wouldn't be on, uh, we wouldn't have the people that are on drugs, that are uh, that are drunk in the alleys, that are uh, that are messed up. We wouldn't have this. We would have people who could take pride in their lives, take pride in their selves and their accomplishments. So, uh, by all means, if you have connections with employers, get, uh, get the word out that they have an unexploited labor force. They have, an un uh, they have an untapped resource right up the street here at Nativity House, right over here at St. Leo's, that they all want jobs. They all want to be able to take pride in their lives. Please, by all means, get the word out there. Get these people into jobs, into homes. And this nation would begin to blossom. It would begin to flourish again. We wouldn't have the economic crisis anymore if these people were working. If these people were given the opportunity to step up. I know that for my part, I would love to be able to step up. I would love to be able to work. How many hiring signs have I seen? No. Zero. How many people have offered me jobs? Zero. How many people have even bothered to recognize my skills and step up and say, hey, I got a place that you can come work and you can actually take pride in yourself. What's wrong with this picture? We have, you know, we're supposedly in an economic upturn. I don't see it. Again, I, I ask you, if you know housing providers, if you know people that can provide jobs, if you know people that can provide these, these vital services to these people, please step up. Tell them 
that these people need this. Thank you.